Hello everybody, ReaperX1 here again, playing some more TerraTech in the R&D of version 0.7.3.4. 7, and this is like a, te a canary testing unstable build, or an unstably stay unstable build. This is only for the few of us that are considered canaries, or testers. So this is what's coming in an update supposed to be Monday if everything goes good at the end of the day so that's something to look forward to all for all of us te uh, techologists but before we get too far into this you know I would like to say thank you for joining me and welcome back I'm glad you found me if this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos hopefully you enjoy it and as always you know if you would like to help me out and fuel my little channel all you need to do is throw some likes down below comments uh, suggestions subscriptions ding the bell on top of that then you'll be notified when I have something new and when you subscribe it'll tell me when you've subscribed and I'll make sure I say thank you once again so all in all I think that works out pretty good and if you happen to have some cool and original text there's always that Saturday showcase where I'll make video for your text all you need to do is uh, post your in-game snapshots or save game through my Saturday Showcase Auditions link in the description. It'll take you to a, a thread that I started on the TerraTech forum. Post your in-game snapshots or save games there and I'll find them, make the video, and we'll all have a bunch of fun sharing ideas, inspiring others, and all the good stuff that can go with it. And if you would like to maybe help and show a little extra support, if you'd like, you could always... Go down to the description once again. I got a paypal.me link down there. It's set up to be a $2 thing. And it's not just to give me money. Obviously, that wouldn't be very cool. But if you do support me, I have a little giveaway going on right now for a 3D printed tech. And that uh, little $2 donation, that'll get you easily a ticket in the hat to be drawn, and maybe you could win your own little 3D printed tech. That'd be kind of a neat little thing, I think. I figure if we can get a few people interested, well, then maybe that'll set up for the next giveaway. You know, I've got to keep it going, self-sustaining kind of thing. But as far as what I'm doing in this one here, I was posed a challenge on one of my videos about making techs that you only used one of each block, so you can't have duplicates of anything. And then it was further challenged that to make them uh, corporation specific, basically. So only GSO or only Venture or only Geocore or whatever. And then maybe one overall with just open block or open corporations, but still limited to one block each or one of each block. So this is what I kind of come up with for my GSO one. <coughs> now, I know there's some of us out there that just, you know, it screams to have so much love thrown at this little tech. But the whole idea is to kind of use the, the restrictions, see what it can do. See if it can survive, maintain itself, handle itself. So first thing I figure we better get over here, get some fuel. Since these guys have a pretty good base set up for the mobile, except for the refinery, of course, that's a different corporation, so that it's out, so I use the silo, get myself a little supply here, and yeah, let's try that, thinking I'm putting some rockets on this, yeah, right, that looks a little better, woohoo, look at me go now, jeez, I'm speedy, oh, you actually got a little bit of air there, <laughs> right on, so now, what should we do with this little fella? We got him some fuel. Burning away. It's charged up. Pick up a few more pieces. Make sure the selling part's working nice. Right on. See, that would be an effective little tech just to run around in. You could get in a couple little fights and that. Well, let's see how he does against this. These things got a little more firepower than my guy does. But hey, he's taking them out. Take that to your face. Took the mustache right off the lip. He ain't got nothing. He got a bare lip that just had a bullet grazed by it. 
All right, that wasn't too bad. We'll get ahead. Oh, oh, we're not my gun off. Oh, get moving. Oh, it looks like I'm burning. I'm on fire. Oh, okay, we'll pull that back on. That was not fair. I crashed and lost that. And yeah, I hadn't used one of them or them. So I could put those on there. Eh, maybe I should change that a bit. Let's put that. Yeah, there. Forward facing. Got one extra laser beam going at the enemy. Can't be too bad. There, let's see if we can... Holy crap, he's zoned right in on me quick. I better back out of that crap. No need to get crazy, I know. Oh, can I make it? Get in there. Can I? Oh, look at that. Got him. That big megaton's doing some work. He was just friendly enough to just knock him right off his anchor. So, yeah, obviously this ain't really meant for the big show end game contender. So, I can figure it's about time to get to the Geocore one, but would you look at that? Someone stole my freaking hubcap. I got jacked, man. I got jacked. Just got in this thing. What the heck, man? If I ever catch those little punks, y'all open that hubcap right over their forehead. But anyway, I've cooled down, collected my thoughts. Now let's build a Geocore. Only, or one of... How the heck was I wording that? Only one of each. <clears throat> I had to catch your little name going for it there, but I forget what the heck I was calling it now. But anyway, the Geocore one, he's going to probably be a little lacking in features and such. But we do get some new treads on here. That's kind of why I was so... Just, just kind of eager to try this out, because I know these guys, they're not really have them yet. But I'm pretty sure they're going to go to Geocore. Look, the frickin' things are yellow. And they're the only ones that really make sense to have them kind of tread. So I'm going to assume those are Geocore. And this does not forfeit the challenge. Even if it does forfeit the challenge. Ah, well. <laughs> I got the other ones that worked. So yeah, I'm just going to try and kind of make this an all-around miner and collector and... He'll have some defensive or offensive capabilities, but he is going to be limited because that is the weapon selection for these guys. And since everything else has uh, shooty kind of weapons and defenses, I'm going to take a heck of a beating just trying to get close enough to grind down them with my girls. But it'd be fun trying. We'll see how it goes. But first, we got to get them built. And with so few blocks, it really makes it tricky. Because from what I can guess, I would say that GSO is about the easiest. Uh, I'm guessing... Actually, Hawkeye would probably be the second easiest to put something kind of neat looking together. And then... Venture is kind of a pain in the... Hmm. Because of, they don't really have too many basic blocks. They got a lot of brackets, but they don't have any other, like, blocks. Just the two. So that really limits that one. And then these guys, they're just lack of options, really. There, get my lid. All right, now what are we going to put on this guy? We got a battery, we got a wireless chair, we got the big bucket. The big bucket. I notice how the boxes around them, their area that they take up is now a lot bigger. I think they got tired of us kind of saying that that doesn't look right. Why can't we put things there? They're cutting through each other. Well, it won't happen no more. Yeah, I guess that saw can go there. Just wanted to fit it in. It was in my hand already. <coughs> I didn't want to put it back. All right, what else do we need here? We need some collection ability. Want it down. Oh, yeah, we should have a store. Don't want to leave that out. Oh, yeah, never mind. Forgot the bucket thing. I just talked about that, too. Could have swore that was going to be able to, like, slide on down and be good for me. Yeah, I think that guy should be able to carry quite a bit. Now, let's see how he functions. But that's the part of the challenge. It has to be functional. I think he'll function. Well, he's going to like those low trees, but... Oh, he chews that up. Nice. Yeah, we'll even go over this. 
One thing I noticed with these new rocks, that when you knock them down, they leave that on the ground. Sometimes the vehicles don't want to drive over them so nice. It's like they stick up just a little bit. There, we'll get that all charged up, so I at least got some health to go at these guys with. And, well, see what we get into. I got high hopes. Yeah, maybe we'll just go this way. <laughs> no need to go get shot in the face a bunch. We can grind this guy up into a little pulp. Oh, yeah, you're getting chewed on there, buddy. Oh, all to pieces. The Reese's pieces. Yeah, I can't hurt that. I thought it was worth a try. Oh, he's a Brazilian little sucker. Look at him. He's still... Oh. Okay, I popped him like a grape. I think he had enough. All right, so there's the second one. That's not too bad. Let's get into the Venture one now here. Kind of get my bearings about me. See what the heck I really want to do with this thing. See, this is what I mean. You got two blocks. And four brackets. There's your basic blocks. Got to figure out what I'm going to do for these wheels. It's kind of limited on options. So it's one of those things I just kind of build and fart around and just move this, drop that, throw it there, do this. Whatever I find it until it actually looks like it's interesting or maybe it'll work or maybe it just looks so silly that I'm going to use it anyway because, you know, it makes me laugh. Sometimes that has happened. It has been a deciding factor every once in a while. It's kind of odd like that. Keeps me entertained, though. So I ain't complaining. Ah. Say, I wasn't really too sure where I wanted to go with this, but I figured since I can use some base blocks, I might as well. We'll make him kind of maybe a clean-up moneymaker idea. With a little bit of speed, hopefully. But since I can only use one of each thing, I'm guessing he's not going to be very speedy because <laughs> the wheels. You kind of need a, a set of four to make him... Really work good together. <laughs> but, oh well. We'll see what we get. But I think what I'm going to have to do, though, since the whole collection of these is going to take a little long, I'm going to break these up into two. Two episodes. So we're going to have these three in this episode, and then the Hawkeye, and then the Mutt, as I call it. It's got a bit of everything, whatever I thought would look be functional and kind of handy to have and I made a, a tech with a, a free-for-all of the corporations but only one of each block so I figure I'll lump them in together with that that should be pretty good but as I am gonna do that I am gonna call this one at an end so once again you know thanks for joining me I hope you always remember that your support and your visit is always appreciated and I hope you come back as often as possible. I usually try to have new stuff at least two, three times a week, but my real goal is every day to have a Terror Tech video. That's my goal. I was doing it good for a while, but I kind of got some issues and it slipped. Now I'm trying to fight my way back. Slowly. But I'm, I'm making it. I'll make it. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you'd like to, you know, you can also fuel my channel. There's a number of ways. The best ones are the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, the dinging of the bell, all that awesomeness that you guys bring that really helps fuel the tank, fuel my little channel and fill up the tank. And if you'd like, you could also send a few bucks through a pay, my paypal.me link down in the description there. And with your $2 donation, I will gladly enter your name into the uh, 3D printed tech giveaway. Now oh, that's got more lift on it than I thought. And hopefully we can have a lot of fun with that. Get some uh, people with their own 3D techs running around. And have a little, whole brand new Monopoly pieces and cool stuff like that. The little miniatures. They're pretty neat. Or if you got your own cool and original tech, there's always a Saturday Showcase. That's all you need to do is just give me an in-game snapshot or a save game. Posted to my thread that you'll find the link for down below, the Saturday Showcase Auditions link. Follow it to the thread, post the snapshots and game saves there. Either or, or both, works for me. I'll find them, make the video, let you know, and we'll have a ton of fun sharing ideas, inspirations, and all the coolness that that can bring. 
So I think that's pretty good. We got the three of them all built up. So until next time, everybody, keep being awesome and keep having a good one. Bye.